FTX is expected to make its first appearance in bankruptcy court today in an attempt to recount what led to the fallout of the company. High stakes for the crypto exchange with filings showing numerous creditors are due hefty sums here. For more, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan. Alexis, what do we know from the legal proceedings that are about to commence here? Yeah, Brad, a lot at stake here. So FTX's attorneys and its managers, they'll appear in bankruptcy court in Delaware. That's where this case is being handled at 11 a.m. Eastern time today. And what they're going to do is they're going to make a series of requests to spend what's left of the company's money. Traditionally, in a bankruptcy case, this would have happened already within days. And what the management needs is approval to pay its lawyers, its bankers, its employees, some of whom, many of whom have already left the company, and also things like utilities, like Let's just keep the lights on. That's what they need here. You can expect to hear also a narrative of FTX's collapse in this hearing and also the steps that the company is making to shore up its assets. Now, as for its broader financial health, we're getting glimpses of that, but the picture is still far from complete. The CEO of the company, John J. Ray, he said that the company might need until January to complete that picture to tabulate the company's assets and liabilities. The reason cited there last week, Ray had said uh, that he was looking at a complete failure of corporate controls and also an absence of trustworthy financial information that existed at the company. Though in a filing on Saturday, FTX identified 216 bank accounts that hold approximately 564 million million dollars. The company also identified its top 50 creditors. These were all customers of FDX and they owned, the company said, a collective $3.1 billion. Now, here's the problem. The company further identified some of its cash on hand. Its combined cash balance, it said, was $1.2 billion. So we'll be watching in this hearing for what exactly the finances look like at this date and time, but we're certainly not expecting to get a whole picture today. Yeah, especially since John Jay Ray had said, what a mess the finances were, right? That it's going to take some time. Um, Talk to us about sort of logistics or what we need to know today. When does this thing start? How long could it last? And who else is testifying? I mean, Sam Bankman Fried, this is not, we won't be hearing from him today, right? No, no, that's not expected. And this is really an omnibus procedure in bankruptcy court. Like I said, this would have usually happened within days of the filing, and the delay of it just speaks to how disorganized this company's finances are and its accounting uh, across the board really must be. Now, we might learn a little bit more at 11 a.m. That's when this starts. And, Julie, uh, how long it goes, it it shouldn't take the entire day, although the complexity of this case, I could see it definitely going until the court closes, probably around 5 p.m. Uh, We might learn, though, more about the $477 million in unauthorized transfers that went from FTX's uh, Bahamas entity, entity, that FTX Digital Markets, uh, right after the bankruptcy was filed, that flowed out of the company. Now, that entity is not part of the bankruptcy estate that are the bankruptcy filing in the U.S. It's now managed by liquidators in the Bahamas. It's said to have once held about $16 billion, and the Bahamas uh, Security Commission, the regulator there, they said they indeed authorized that transfer, but that they only authorized it so far as to go into a government wallet for safekeeping. Uh, We should also expect there should be some jurisdictional issues, perhaps, because the Bahamas authorities have said that local, the the local entity is the one that controls the entire business. So we could definitely see a fight over where all of these bankruptcy proceedings across the board, across entities, will end up playing out, the U.S. or the Bahamas. And people who are missing their funds are going to be watching all of this very closely, as we will be. Thanks so much, Alexis. Appreciate it.